Hello again. Hopefully this is uh, recording. So we are spending some time looking around the neighborhoods that are upcoming in the Lord of the Rings Online, Lotro, at the housing neighborhoods that they're opening up in the Rohan area. Uh, there are two neighborhoods. One of them is in the Plains kind of area called uh, Kingstead Meadows. And the other one is East Fold Hills, which is more in the mountainous area, uh, more mountain and rugged looking. Um, so we are, we did a walkthrough of the Kingstead Meadows area, and now we're doing a walkthrough of the East Fold Hills area. So I've got my Hobbit here, and she's gonna take a look around. Um, we are, this is the map. So as you can see, there was the portal there out to the world. Um, East Fold then heads out that way. So just to scoot us out. So we are down here. So the first neighborhood was up here and the second neighborhood is over here in the mountains. So close that map. I'm sorry. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so we're going to walk around the neighborhood and, um, yeah, take a look at some things. Uh, take a look at each of the houses and take a look at uh, some of the interiors as well. And so, all right, so here we are coming into the center of town. Um, and you'll notice that they have um, little buildings on the way in. And that's where a number of the accessory people, the NPCs are going to be to help us out in our town centers. So you can go to your home and spend a whole lot of time there. Um, there are your task boards over here. Oh, hang on just a moment. Hey, sweetie, can you close some windows? I totally forgot to do that before getting online. Thank you. Sorry, trying to minimize noise so you guys can hear what all is happening. Um, so we got our stable master. Yeah, so all your NPCs that you're going to need are going to be right here in the middle of town, most likely. All right, so here we are in town. So if we go up this road, so notice that on our last one, it was a lot of um, wheel with books. Thank you, honey. Um, and this one, this neighborhood isn't, it definitely has the center wheel and it definitely has the spokes coming out, but it's done a little bit differently. Like for example, this one has actually three houses coming off of it. Uh, whereas we didn't have that happening on the Kingstead Meadows that I recall. Um, Mead Hall is over here as opposed to in the middle of the town as it is in Kingshead Meadows. So a different, definitely a different setup. Okay, so let's take a look at this house. Uh, this would be Three Ridge Road. It will cost you, if these prices are um, going to stick, um, which as I said in the first video, we don't have confirmation yet on what the actual prices are going to be. So the prices that we're seeing are definitely in line with the Belfalas premium housing neighborhood. And this is another premium housing neighborhood. So it's possible that they will line up, uh, but we don't know for sure. So it's a guess at this point. Um, but at least you can use this as comparative. So you know which one is the less expensive house, which ones are the medium houses, and which ones are the most expensive houses. So currently Three Ridge Road here is listed at 18 Ritz and 445 Mithril, which was the second to lowest cost for what we saw in Kingstead Meadows as well. Okay, so let's see. Do we we have not gone inside this house? So we're gonna take a look inside. So over in the meadows, we had the houses had basically two uh, outside doors, and uh, they were side by side. And one of them led in, and you had a basement area, and the other one led in, and you had a loft area. So um, let's take a look at what we've got in here. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. I apologize. And we are slow loading. I was looking around here earlier and there is a house that has some, has she, that she's done some decorating on. Um, so we'll definitely get a chance to go and take a look at that here in a minute. Just writing down some notes while we're waiting. Hmm, these are taking a while. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so now we've made it in the front door. Hooray! Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, this is very different. Uh, it's been a little while since I've come in here. Okay, so we've got our main room 
here that we enter into. And then we have side rooms. Oh, right, there is another door. It's off on the side of the house, not on the front of the house like the other one was. So you've got some uh, variation there. We'll come back to this room in a second. If we come in and go to the left, in our links. Uh, oh, it also takes us to the basement. Okay, well, you know what? All roads lead to the basement, let's go. So our basement, so this house has a basement. So we've got a large room here. And this is a bigger basement, you may notice, than the basement was for the Kingstead Meadows uh, basement. Remember the basement there was basically what, one room? So this has one, two, like a number of rooms. We've got a number of rooms already here. And then we have the stairs back up on the other side of the house. So a much more extensive basement that in the hills here. Okay, so back to the center. And then we've got, oh, you could probably use this as like a little kitchen or scullery or something. Um, but then we've got stairs. And so again, uh, door there. In the meadows, we had stairs leading up this way, going kind of to the side. But this time we're gonna go up these stairs that are facing this way. And we have a loft area here with some nice vaulted ceiling action. But wait, there's more. Got even more stairs. So definitely not for those of you who don't like stairs. <laughs> we have another spot. So here's where we're gonna talk to one NPC and then we're gonna go up some more stairs and this is where you find the quest item. All right, so a lot of levels going on here, which kind of makes sense. I mean, we, we're building up in the mountains. Uh, it seems like birding, building vertically makes a lot of sense, and it feels like it really fits in with the style of the area. All right, I'm going to do my typical and fall down a bunch of stairs. Oh, I haven't been able to take falling damage in this neighborhood yet, so I wonder if that's a bull roarer thing? or if that's because you don't take falling damage in these neighborhoods now. I don't know. It's really fascinating though, because I have, I have fallen a few times, kind of on purpose, just to check things out. And uh, I keep coming away perfectly fine. So I don't know, maybe that's a new thing. All right, so let's check out the exterior. And every time I've come out here, it's been dark. So I haven't had a good uh, sense of what we've got out here. But I know we've got the house. So there's the door we went in originally. And then we've got our side door, <laughs> and my pony on skates. Um, and our side door was over here. So then we've got the back of the house is going to be over here. And then we've got, you know, all sorts of outdoor areas for decorating, as we've noticed before. So here's a little longer view of, of the house. So we can go around the side. Oops, have I forgotten how to jump? I have forgotten how to jump. We'll, we'll remember that in a minute. It looks like we got a little lag going. Um, definitely got some really rugged looking space here. Got some trees. I'm waiting for the orcs to come wandering out. Has that kind of look and feel to it, doesn't it? Um, so there we go. So, and then I know there's more buildings. I'm missing the buildings here, aren't I? So this is probably our stable spot with the, um, with the hooks. Sorry, I'm a little out of whack here. So this is probably the spot where you've got the hooks for the horses, um, or you can buy them the hooks to put your horses for display. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, we don't have the well, like we did in the other one. We don't have, looks like we don't, maybe not have as many buildings. I'm not sure. Let's check another house, see what we see. Try and get some more consistency here. Okay, so here we are back in the middle of town. Let's get back on the ruin road, which goes this way, excellent. All right, so next we're gonna come across, oh my word, look at that. So that's crazy cakes. So yeah, we're gonna head down into this valley. Uh, bum, bum, bum. There we go. All right, so this is Two Ridge Road. Um, yep, yeah, I don't have a price listed on this one, so uh, we'd have to go back to the, uh, to our, our, our barter people and find out. Ah, but they've done some decorating. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here you go. So this is what it looks like when you buy the decorating hooks and put your horses out. So it doesn't look like they move around, which is what I was thinking, that they were stable. Ha, stable in the stable. Um, no, but I think it is really that you you 
decide where they're going to be and what direction they're facing and, and all of that. Um, and you pick a horse out of your own collection. So it's not just any random horse that you think looks pretty. I think it has to be a horse in your collection. Um, but it's really cool because I, I don't know if you're like me, but I like to collect mounts. Uh, I like to have them match some of the outfits maybe that I'm wearing. So having access to be able to show them off is kind of a neat idea. So uh, yeah, there you go. So now you get an example of that. Oh, I'm so glad they've got some of these out. I'm surprised the horses aren't moving much. We got a little tail movement there. Maybe some breathing, but no head bobs or anything. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, what else do we have? So yeah, so they've spent some time doing some outdoor decorating. I don't think I want to fight a ward right now. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, yeah, so there's definitely some hooks all over the place out here as well. But it does seem like the yards are maybe a little bit more compact than the yards that we saw in the meadows. Maybe the meadows, you know, just by their very nature are just wide open spaces. And these may be a little bit more uh, tight in their spacing. Okay. So go around the house. I do believe though you get more opportunity to build, to decorate on the way around your house. So I'm not certain on this one, but I think there may be some decorating hooks closer up here as well. I'm not, I'm not sure with the specific house. That is quite the incline. Don't try going down there when it's icy. But on the other hand, it's a pretty awesome view up here. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna keep moving around here. We're burning daylight, people. All right, let's see what our next one is. Oh, this is one Ridge Road. Okay, excellent. This is uh, the Mead House, uh, the Mead Hall, excuse me, of this neighborhood. Um, so they're always going to be at one Ridge Road. Uh, so it's going to be the most expensive, which is potentially 36 Ritz and uh, 894 Mithril, um, if it is lined up with the same pricing as the Belfalas housing. Okay, so this person, she was posting elsewhere, well, I assume it was a she, uh, posting in a Discord server that I'm on and was mentioning that they have stuff. So we get to take a little bit of a look around. So they have put up some definite decorations. You can see there's a lot of cool decor going on here. Um, I think, I think I like this a bit more than the meadows. It, yeah, I can see it really is. There's so many different tastes, right? Like I like the wide openness of the meadows, but at the same time, I'm, I'm really drawn to this as well. Oh, the stable master stand. I'm wondering, this will summon a visiting stable master who will offer their services for anyone in your household. So that's new. Um, so here's here's a, a little side caveat on this, is I lived in the mountains in the United States for uh, six odd years. Um, and it was wonderful. Uh, it was beautiful up there and I loved it. But at the same time, like, there, it was far away from things and I felt it was, I don't know, it, it's just, I don't want to go and live in the mountains again. <laughs> so that is where my personal hesitation comes from this, because this reminds me a lot of living in the mountains of Colorado, which, so, you know, kudos to the development team for creating something that is very realistic feeling to me, um, or very reminiscent for me. So, all right, so take a look at some of these views you've got out here. And also, you may have noticed that we're wandering by, oops, a lot of foliage uh, that were wandering by animals. There are also hooks. You can assign uh, animals to a hook as well, is my understanding. Somebody was commenting that for a cat to be on a hook, you have to give them like a large furniture spot so they can wander all over it and they just take up the whole thing, which they thought was kind of funny and, and reasonably in line with having a cat. So, but yes, so you could have your celebration pig out here letting off fireworks willy-nilly uh wandering your yard so this is a really interesting way to use up your yard hooks is just have animals wandering around so that's you know that's kind of cool 
that and that's new. That's new for um, for Rohan housing. I believe <laughs> there's another one. I believe this is only available in the Rohan housing, but we'll need to double check. We'll we'll just have to keep an eye out. You know, keep our ears open because um, there are some things that are available in all the household or all the neighborhoods going forward. And then there's some things that are Rohan only at this time. And I think the the stable, the horse hooks, and oh wow, and the um, uh, pet hooks are Rohan only, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Wow, look at how many mounts they got in here. Okay, all right, so that answers that question. Because I was curious about this this outdoor thing with the with the um, fencing versus the outdoor one without the fencing, could you put horses in both? And the answer is yes. So what are these stable master stands? Oh, are these the ones that call a summoning stable master from Felagoth? So different stable masters from different locations. All right, we're gonna have to find out. Well, okay, all right. I hear a little voice saying, use it. All right, what happens? I'm blowing the horn. You can't hear it because I'm on a horse. Oh. Oh, well, that's really odd. It's a traveling stable master for their area. What a crazy idea. I had no idea this was in the works. All right. Who are you? Let's find out. There we go. I got the horn for you. Felagoth. I haven't... I haven't been to Felagoth. Maybe that's why they're not showing up for me. They're like, you can't go there. What about address? Or maybe I can only have one every five minutes. Oh, no, here's one. All right, what does she know? Huh. That is a really interesting idea. So there's a question of will this be... Do we think it'll be an addition to the far raging stable master, or uh, you know, will it, will we have that or, or and or or? I think and because I saw the far raging stable master in the center of town when we came up here. Yee, look, we have a hobbit. Hi. And this was the stable master for uh, Mickel Delving. So I'm guessing, can I get? To, aha, yeah, you can get to the party tree from here. Miggle delving from here. Oh, that is amazing. That is a really interesting idea. Huh. All right. That is something completely unexpected. Oh, a glow worm pet. <laughs> What's that over there? I see movement. So you, can, you might be noticing that this yard is crazy spacious for the mead hall. And yes... That is the case. It is crazy spacious. Um, and what was this? Was this the barn? I thought the meat hall didn't have a second building. We're going to check it out. Because I'm pretty sure we're still in the same household. Same neighbor. Yeah, we're still at the same house. Same address. Okay. What is this? No, this is 8 Ridge Road. We have moved. We're at a different house. Okay, that's somebody else's house. Groovy. So then this is the same thing where you go in, you can go across. You've got a second door over here. Yep, yep. Okay. No, we went into somebody else's yard. I've noticed that on the test server, it's not showing me when I cross into somebody's yard all the time. It happens. But I want to go back to the mead hall. So we got to go in. All right. We're going to go look at all their pets again. There's my horse on uh, on ice. Lotro on ice. We could sell all sorts of fun merchandise. Okay, so is that an open door or is that a glitchy door? We'll wait a moment. All right, we'll let things load for a moment. While it's doing that, we can take a look at this house that goes on forever. This yard that goes on forever. Look at that, right by the mountains. 
I mean, I guess if I was ever sick, you know, homesick for the mountains, this would be the place to go. This does a pretty good job. All right, here we go. Now we can go in. So have we been in the meat hall yet? I don't think we have. I think we started to, and then we got kicked out on our first run through here. So we're going to take a look around this place. So, wow, right? So the middle is a whole set of a new type of hook. I think I mentioned this earlier. Um, that can be uh, a fire pit like this, and there's a couple of different types of fire pits. Um, you could do tables and, and benches. You've got a lot of options there. Hedgehog burrow. Well, we have to say hi to the hedgehogs. All right, so again, you can do pets um, on hooks instead of um, regular furniture items. So that's really interesting. So we've got our meat hall, and it was so funny, I was looking at one of these earlier, and it reminds me of like a, like a church, really. Um, so, um, let's see, new reward for completing an area's meta meta deed. You get a stable master, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Um, hi, thanks for showing these off. Has there been any news about the race change token on Bull Roar? Um, I have not been playing with the race change stuff, but I, when I was in the Isengard, um, which is the name of the tavern, the eyes and, you know, guard, but you know, eyes and guard. Oh, wrong way. Eyes and guard. Um, the, there was a race change NPC there. So I know that people are playing with that. Uh, I did see somebody had done some pictures where they, they were a hobbit and then they were not a hobbit and they were really tall and then they were back to a hobbit. So I know that that is being played with on Bull Roar, but I don't know much more about that. But that was an awesome question. Thanks for checking in on that. Um, really, I wanted to focus on housing today because that is where my super, super interest is. But if I um, finish up here, I can pop back to the Isengard and we can take a look at that. Or, and if not, we can uh, just remind me. It's, I think um, Bull Roar is open through like 10 a.m. tomorrow or something. So we've got a little bit of time. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's the, meat, the middle of the meat hall. Uh, and this is, again, we're in the mountain one with apparently a ghost bear, because why not? So this one has, oh, it's very similar to the other one where you've got that kind of L-shaped room. And then we've got the room that's behind it that's kind of a square. So that is uh, pretty well the same. Oh, remember I was talking about the lighting? There's some new lighting things that you can do. So this person has done yellow lighting in this room and used campfire which has a bit of a flicker to it. So you notice that the light is changing, it's getting dimmer and lighter there. Uh, so that is a new thing that has been brought out for Rohan housing. Also, did they do any of the, okay, you can do columns. There's something about columns, uh, decorating columns. If I see any of those, I'll try to stop and take a look. All right, um, the dais up here, eh, it's similar. It's a little bit, a little, maybe a little bit different in the way it's lined out, but pretty similar. Cute. Um, all right, so then if we go back on this side, it should be the same. Well, we've got our square room here and we've got our kind of L-shaped room there. So let's go upstairs. Now, I think this one has both basement and upstairs, right? So let's go, yeah, so we've got like a little uh, landing here and then we go up and we've got a large space up here. So this is really nice. I like this area quite a lot. I think there's a lot you could do with this and it's got you know, it's overlooking uh, what's going on down there and overlooking your um, your little spot there. And, um, and yeah, I think this is really a really cool space that they've put in there. And then you've got the, you know, run, 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 run forever. Oh, you're welcome, shoreless skies. Um, so run, 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 run. And, you know, I mean, this would be the place for some, you know, nice soft furniture or, you know, put people in the corner if they're being naughty. I don't know. Uh, people come up with some, some amazing creative ideas. So I could absolutely see somebody putting up banners or something right here. So it looks like you can't get through. And so the only way you can get through is if you go around the other side or, you know, people create mazes in their houses. It's just, it's fascinating to me. I, it's uh, more creativity than I've come up with so far, but yeah, you never know. All right, so this looks like it just overlooks and back to the door. So the stairs are not there. We have to go back to the stairs over here. So it looks like we have stairs on one side, but not both sides. That's all right. Asynchronous, or a, uh, yeah. Asymmetrical is okay. You don't have to always be symmetrical. 
All right, so and then I believe we had, yep, the stairs to the basement were right here inside the door. So remember, we came in the door right here, uh, and the chest was right there. That So and again, that will be really super handy uh, because, so just to kind of review again, with the mead halls, a mead hall is part of Rohan Housing. Rohan Housing is premium housing. Anybody can own as many premium houses as they want. And a mead hall is a premium house. It is not a kin house. It is a re regular premium house in that regard. So you could own, well, you could own every mead hall on the server. Uh, nobody's going to let you do that because everybody wants a mead hall. Um, but now that we have the ability to uh, assign one of our owned houses as our, our primary house and put that little star on it in the, in, in the, you know, the screen, I'm not going to pull it up, but where you can go and star your house, um, that allows everybody in your kin to be able to travel to that house. They get a travel skill and they can go to that house. So this is what they're planning for this, that, that way everybody can use a mead hall as a gathering space for their kinships and um, all sorts of things. So I think that's a great idea. And you can use, then you can do the kin chest. You can use a premium house chest as a second kin chest, basically. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so we're heading down to the basement. We've got another little landing here, really adorable. Um, it's where you like stick the kids with their iPads and stuff. Um, maybe not in this world. <laughs> All right, we've got storage under the stairs. I think we saw that before. And a crate of more vegetables, cute. So oh yeah, this is the one where you've got this little hallway and then you've got basically six rooms coming off of it, three on each side. So three over there and three over here. So this is where I was thinking that it would be a lot of fun to do very specific decorating in each, uh, in each little room. You can have it kind of themed. They have gone with the cat and crates theme in this basement. I really appreciate the fact that this person spent the time to do some decorating so you could really get a feel for what it could look like with at least a couple of decorations in it at least. Get you started. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's cute well-stocked cellar shelves. I don't know if I've seen that before. That might be new. Yeah, that is cute. All right, and a cheesemonger's crate. We'll have to get a whole bunch of those. Goes with our Dutch theme. We're gonna have to get windmills, cheese crates, um, you know, do the whole thing. All right, so more stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs. And we're back to the beginning. So that is your cathedral meat hall. <laughs> It just uh, it reminded me so much of like when I, I lived in England for a couple of years and it reminded me of the kind of churches that you find uh, in pretty much every village. So um, yeah, so there we go. So that is a mead hall in the mountains or foothills. All right. So super thanks to uh, number two here. We'll, we'll go back out and see her name on the way out, I think. Windmills will work better in the meadows. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hello, giant bumblebee. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> That's one way to keep people out of your house. Just have a hook with a bee that goes right by the door. You'll find out quickly who's afraid. Um, maybe a couple spiders. You know, that'd be great. Uh, man, you could do a whole Halloween theme out here. Oh, could you imagine this being all Halloween themed out here? Ah, would look pretty good. Sorry, I'm scrolling really fast. Let me um, slow down for just a moment so people can get a better sense of the views out here. So the views are different, right? You've got, you're basically looking at mountains and trees, uh, which when you're in the mountains and trees, you can't quite see them as well as when you're looking at them from elsewhere. Um, but there's still some really, really lovely views here. So, but yes. Windmills will work better in the meadows. I think so. I think if you wanted to do like the Don Quixote uh, theme and really, you know, really lean into that, I think having a yard full of windmills would be a lot easier to see um, in the meadows. Definitely. Okay, so we came from the other direction. So we're going to go this way. We're going to keep on running. Oh, we were going to shout a hearty thank you to... Uh, Ah, oh, it doesn't say the name. 
I wrote it down at some point. Let's see. Oh, now I can't jump a wall. Me and my inability to jump. I don't know if they've put walls on things. That could be what we've got, some invisible walls going. Um, that was Carrie's Zoo, she said. So that was very nice of that person to allow us to go and look at their stuff. Okay, here's the house that we walked into by mistake. And this one is for sale. And this one is Eight Ridge Road. So this is gonna be one of our, our medium priced houses with 22 writs and 534 mithril as it's listed at the moment, um, which is kind of, that's interesting. I don't think I had that written down for Kingstead Meadows. Um, I don't have all the pricing for all the houses though. So uh, I'm working on assembling a list just so I have that for my own reference and we might put that in the comments or in the description um, when we post the video. Mm -hmm. But when we post the video up on YouTube, because we'll, we'll take this video and we'll put it up on YouTube so it, it's uh, there in case you want to come back and, and look at this again and review it again. Okay, so again, uh, I believe we have our house with the front door here and we've got the side door over here. Yep. And we've got our outdoor spaces. Let me zoom out a little bit so you get a better view. There we go. So take a look at all that. Now this is kind of neat though, excuse me, um, is because you're up high, that means you can see far and sometimes. So yeah, that's something. What are we looking out at? We are over here. We are looking out over Edoras. So that's, that's delightful. Yes, we're gonna have a house that'll be covered in bees. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. Uh, and I believe you cannot fall from here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try right now. Because I don't want to have to deal with coming back up. <laughs> but there you go. Um, yeah. So there is another one of the deluxe houses. Um, oh, yep. So you've got your hooks. Or you could get the hooks for the horses here. So I'm not seeing outhouses in the mountains, uh, but I'm definitely seeing horse spaces. I think they are really went into a lot more with the outdoor theme in in the mountains setting, which is, you know, understandable. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let's go this direction. All right, so here we are climbing into the mountains, climbing our foothills. So again, you know, you can see some more of the neighborhood that we're getting up and above. So that's kind of fun. Um, one thing I'm noticing it's interesting here is, okay, so we've got Seven Ridge Road. So pretty much, uh, they didn't label the streets on this one yet, but I'm pretty sure this is all Ridge Road. And so you've got everything coming off of it with the name of Ridge Road, which I guess it makes it easy to, to find things because, you know, it's like, oh, we're at three. Okay, we need to go to seven. Well, just keep going. Um, as opposed to the, what, six or seven different street names that we have in, say, Brie and whatnot. Uh, so it might be a little easier. And as we talked about previously, there are fewer houses in the neighborhood. Uh, so hopefully that will accommodate more people. You know, you have then a higher number of need halls per regular deluxe houses uh, available. So hopefully that will accommodate the, the, the desire, the, you know, how many people are going to be buying stuff. Um, so here, let's take a look at this one. This one is Seven Ridge Road. And this one is the 18 Ritz and 445. So that's the, that's on the lower uh, cost end of this. So, so Seven Ridge Road. Hello, Seven Ridge Road. These lanterns remind me now of the flickering uh, go catch lightning bug thing that we're doing in the festival. <laughs> in the Midsummer Festival. Uh, all right, so big open space here for decorating. Lots of decorating behind me. More decorating over here. So you've got the same number. I'm pretty sure it's the same number of decorating hooks in whichever neighborhood you choose. I would need to double check that. And I'll, I'll be doing kind of some side-by-side -side pictures on my own after this, and I'll probably share those with some with people somewhere. Um, just to kind of compare, like, okay, are they the same number of hooks? Are they the same number of internal hooks, external hooks, all of that? And I'm pretty sure it is. All right, so we're continuing around the circle. 
I'm glad that they did not go with a whole bunch of roads that all had the same sounding name because that was another frustration I had in the mountains because there was like Forest Hill Road and Forest Edge Road and Forest Hill Way and Forest Edge Way. And it's like, wow, you guys could have been a lot more creative. All right, so we're still on Ridge Road um, and this is number six. So uh, 17 Ritz, 422 Mithril, that is the lowest cost I have seen. We had three Colt Road over in Kingstead Meadows. So um, it looks like this is your, your so-called bar bargain house, <laughs> if you're looking for such a thing. Um, and wow, you know, what you get for a bargain is pretty amazing. I mean, look at that roof. That's just, well, it's, it's calling out for us to jump on it, isn't it really? But we'll get to that another time. Um, yeah, so there's our house, and we've got some pretty neat yard space going on. And you can see uh, even on the mini radar how we've got the squares. It pretty well lines up, I think, uh, if I recall correctly from when I've seen the hooks before, that you've got like an enormous yard hook, and you've got like an enormous large, and a large yard, and so. Chickens? What? Chicken chasing? Oh yes, we could get Hobnanigans Fields and put them in here like crazy. I wish I wish Hobnanigans Fields were a little more interactive. Like I wish you could click on that and go chasing chickens and stuff. That would be pretty hilarious. All right, so are we going the right direction? Yes, we are. Sweet, because uh, we're gonna come around to the unique house in not too long, and it is something else. Okay, so yes. Okay, so notice that we have this long road that comes off of our main artery. This is different. You don't have this in the um, uh, in the meadows. So we're going to make this long ascent here. And it just, it's so pretty though as you get up here. Like I, I feel the air getting more and more crisp as I go up. All right, so here's our first stop along the way. And this is One Peak Way. So this is Peak Way that we've gotten onto. Um, this is 20 Ritz or 493 Mithril. So that puts us pretty middle. It, in, um, in the meadows, I noticed we basically had a, a 422 in terms of mithril, 445, 495, and then it jumped to 747 and then 894. So this is the, the higher end of those um, 400 mithril coin houses. Uh, probably because of location and you've probably got some pretty awesome views out here. So you got the place for the horses right up near the front. You've got your large areas here and here. You've got your other areas out here. I think some of these have some unique places to put things that I'm, I'm not necessarily seeing because I don't have the hooks on because I don't own the house, you know. Um, but yeah, check out that. You can like just look right down on everything going on around you. I mean, that's, uh, whoops, that's pretty amazing. So I, I'm always just taken back by um, how beautiful the landscape is in Lotro. Uh, it's one of the many things that keeps bringing me back to this game. All right, so, I, and again, I'm not stopping inside each house because, uh, well, also we're gonna lose daylight at some point, we're new now, but um, I just wanna make sure we get a chance to take a look around as much as possible. So, oh, let's, Reverse, meep, meep. Uh, this is two peak way. So that was three, this is two. And this one is 18 Ritz and 445. Um, much better view of the Golden Hall of Medusid. Medusid, thank you. Medusid. Yeah, Medusid. <sighs> you can tell I'm not from Rohan. Um, anyway, so this is uh, kind of our middle of the lower pricing ones. All right, so here's our front door, or is it our side door? I'm not sure why they went with the two door thing. I don't know what, I'm curious to see how people are gonna decorate to really take advantage of that and, and find interesting things to do with that. Maybe it's your front door and your back door, your front door, your side door. Um, maybe people will block it. Maybe people will create a barrier in between so you can only get to some of the stuff from one of the doors. You know, you have to go in this door to come into that door. I don't know, it'll be, I'm really curious to see what people, what people do, what their creativity lends itself to with these houses. All right, so there's another one of our um, fancy houses, our deluxe houses. 
And wrong button. So now we want to go further up into the mountains. So this is the one that, remember, each neighborhood of uh, both the Kingstead Meadows and the East Fold Hills have a unique house. So this is the unique house we're coming up to. I expect somebody will have already bought this. Yeah. So Three Peak Way is the house that is the unique house here. So this is the one. It'll probably be uh, 30 Ritz and 747 Mithril if it's in line with its its neighbor, you know, its, its counterpart over in the other neighborhood. So this one has, uh, I believe the la house layout is, I think, the same. Yep. But it has more hooks than the other regular deluxe houses, including that. Uh, let me see if I can get a better view. Um, one of these areas, I think that area there is included in your decorating options. Yeah. So the road goes that way downhill. And if you come across, I believe you have a couple of hooks over here. Not too many, but I believe there's at least one or two. So that's a crazy idea that you can be just decorating the side of the mountain. <laughs> that amuses me greatly. Okay. So the other thing that makes this house unique. So the one in the meadows has a cave. This one has a tower and you can see it right there. So it, again, it is not connected to the house just as the cave was not connected to the house as its own decorating spot. But let's see if they have uh, open permission to go in. Aw, they've locked their house. All right, well, Druid's Fire did go into one of these. Actually, I think she bought one of these on the on Bull Roar one time uh, when it was open in February. So basically, uh, you can get to the top and look out from there. I think she said you can fall from the top, but it is basically a one room space. It's it's pretty small uh, in terms of once you get in there, it is like just one room. It isn't like a massive room. It didn't feel as, although I didn't go inside. So that cave was much bigger than I expected. So it's possible if I went inside here, I would find it to be more uh, spacious than I'm expecting as well. At any rate, uh, so that is your special feature for this neighborhood if you buy this house is it comes with a tower embedded into the mountains. So that's pretty exciting looking. All right. So yeah, let's see if I can, I don't even think I can damage myself on any of this. Woo! Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> well, you have to test these things, you know, it's the test server. <laughs> There's no door there. It's just my stone of Eric. Yeah, right? You just put a big stone of Eric in the middle. Oh, no, no door. Don't know what you're talking about. Never seen one. <laughs> or put a bunch of uh, topiaries in front of that door. I don't know anybody who does that. <laughs> There's a house on an door with a bunch of topiaries in front of the door. And you have to figure out how to get around them to get in. All right. Uh, have we not seen a house for a while? We have not seen a house for a while. OK, cool. We just keep on rolling here. So obviously we've got a little bit of travel between houses. So I agree. Somebody else, you mentioned that um, the houses seemed very spread apart in these neighborhoods. And I agree. Um, it, it's, it's funny because you, on the one hand, you want to give people what they want, which is a lot of space to decorate. You want to give people, you know, they want acres. They want islands to decorate. And at the same time, though, you don't want to be far apart from your friends and your kinmates if you happen to be able to get into the same neighborhood together. So it's it's a balance, right, between trying to figure out how to give people all that space that they want, while at the same time keeping them close together. I think the spoke and and wheel idea is you could work with that, and you could even be more so by putting the houses, bring the houses tighter in, and then maybe you know pie. Everybody gets a big pie shape going out. That could be a, a future idea. Um, or, you know, I don't know, we stack them on top of each other. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like bunk beds. Okay, so here is Five Ridge Road. And, oh, right, it was for sale. We should look at the for sale sign for future reference. All right, so this one's currently listed as 20 Ritz and 493 Mithral. Um, so that's, oh, yeah, okay, cool. So, hello, Five Ridge Road. Oh, I like the foliage in this house. 
or in this yard. This seems like it's a little, I don't know, it looks different. Or I just haven't been looking down. I don't know, I think the layout of this one has got, I don't know, it's intriguing me a little bit. I'm liking the layout of this one somewhat. And yeah, so you've got, I don't even remember how we got up here. Um, I have no recollection of this place. So we've got our house there with our multi-doors. Uh, here's our horse enclosure, if you can call it an enclosure with a big open gate there. Uh, where's the other horse one? Must be on the other side of the house. Wow, this just, this yard just goes on. That's a nice yard. I kind of like this house. I will want to purchase in this neighborhood. All right. So there we go. So there's five. Yeah, look at that. It's got a paddock or an area over there and an area over there. I like that they're not right next to each other. That's kind of fun. That, that could add to some interesting looks because it seems like the enormous yard items Putting them next to each other isn't as interesting to me as having like an enormous yard item and then some other smaller things nearby and then another enormous yard item, but not next to it. I think that has a better look to it, better balancing. Okay, so where are we here? We have come down the hill a little bit and we're ducking into what is Four Ridge Road. Um, oh, so this is... Oh, I must have missed a 500. I probably have talked about this already. Uh, 22 writs and 534 mithril. That's interesting. Okay, so, you know, location, location, location. So we've got our two doors. It's a two door. Uh, our horse enclosure. I swear I'm only seeing one horse enclosure in the mountains. Hmm, I think that is the case. I'm only seeing one horse space. So the, the, the hooks just must be laid out differently. Whose house is that? Oh, that's kind of fun. You can see your neighbor's house pretty close. That could be a way for a kin to be close to each other, I suppose. We, we could get to each other by way of our backyards um, instead of by way of the street. So that's an option. So these two houses might, you know, might lend themselves well to being... Um, Kin neighborly. Okay, so that was five, I believe. And yep, we'll keep going this way, back down the hill. Keep the hills, to the hills. I mean, man, this just slopes. Glad I'm not shoveling that in the winter time. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I'm like here, and all I can think of is, do I have to shovel that when it comes winter time? How soon do I have to close the doors? Because it's getting cold out because it's the mountains and things get cold really fast. <laughs> Bear, I don't mind bears. Bears are all right. Um, I actually understand bears. They make sense to me. All right. So I think we have seen all of the houses here. I don't think I've missed anybody. So are there any questions right now in the chat? I'll take a look there and see if anybody comes up with something. And while you guys are thinking of anything, or you all, sorry to be gendered there for a moment, um, of anything that you might want me to look into, um, I don't know if Charlotte Skies is still around, but we'll go take a look at the um, race change token over at the Eyes and Guard. Let's see how that works. All right, let's get rid of that. So, I think I saw it here. Okay, so racial trait bestower. Let's see what Snow Light does. Ooh, what are you, little one? Do not tell me, hasty creature. I will find out. So there's some really cute dialogue here. So what does this mean? Oh, that just finished off a racial trait, like enmity of the spiders, because I'm a hobbit. 
That was not what I was looking for. And those Lotra points will not be there at the end of the day. Hmm, class trait points. I know somebody was playing around with it, though, because I saw some pictures and they were being funny. Class trait points. What's beyond C? Uh, no, I don't think I want to go there. Hmm. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is the first day I've ever tried the Bull Roar server, um, the test server. So I haven't figured out where to find everything yet. Um, oh, it's um, it's, what's her name? The the woman who was, and now she's oh, and then of course because her dad died, and then she was like no. Hmm? Normal F. Yes. That would be who we're talking about. Uh, let's see, Relic Forge Master, class weapons, jewelry, vendor and crafting, money. <laughs> I love how these things are like so descriptive, you know, Minas Morgul Guild and money. Reputation. Hmm. I don't know. I know that it, I think they're in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing them. So I'm sorry. I cannot change my hobbity hobbit to somebody else at this time. But I love this guy ice skating around in the middle of this tavern. <laughs> I find that delightful. Um, so, yeah, in January there was the post that the race change this is something they've been exploring. Um, but I do know that... What is this? July? Um, somebody yesterday or today, it all kind of blends together, was showing off playing with the race trait uh, changes because they had changed their hobbit into, I think, a human. Um, every time. Um, and yeah, there's a character race change item. Is it in the store? Oh, check to see if it's in the bull roarer store. Haha. -ha. I mean, that makes sense. This is, this is why I have a voice that speaks to me <laughs> with ideas. Or maybe I should do this. Character race change. Want to rewrite your personal history? Choose a new character, race, and gender. Can only be used on the game World War Purchased. Um, use this item to ch add a race change credit for any of your characters on this world, how much do I have? I don't have enough yet. Um, you only select from races available to your character class. Okay. So that's interesting. All right. Um, let's see. I think the Lotra Points giver is up here. <laughs> really? Tell me about it. Ultra points. Okay. Yeah, I just love how they just give points away here. I'm like, okay. I mean, they're, you know, they're, uh, what is that? Leprechaun gold, basically. They'll be gone in the future. So sad. Okay, I don't actually know how many I just got. Let's find out. You get to learn along with me. Wait, did I not do that right? Okay, there we go. Now we have a few more Lotra points. Wouldn't it be great if it was that easy? I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'd have all these houses and crazy stuff. All right, let's buy this. You are welcome. Thanks for letting me buy it. So I assume it is a token? It is. It is here in my inventory. So, da -da -da, in this game world, race change credits allow you to change log out to character, select to use your race change credits. Oops, that's the wrong thing to do. So, what?
Yeah, I'm wondering if this is at the login screen then. Huh. All right. Well, I mean, we can give this a try. Let's do log out, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to move my face so you guys can see what's going on here. So over here, oops, over here, <laughs> helps when pointing at the right screen. There's a change race button. I do not recall seeing that previously. So let's see what my options are. So she's a burglar. So her options apparently are Stout Axe. Okay. Or Human. Oh, and I can, yeah, and I can change the, whether she's male or female. So Okay, well, there you go. So if you were curious to see this um, in action, as my burglar can only be a, either a hobbit, a stout axe, or a man, those are my options. But that's kind of cool. This race is not available for your class. That's nice that it actually tells you that as well. Hmm. What an interesting idea. I think I don't have a need to change her you know, to exit. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Now you've seen what that looks like. Let me see if I can grab my picture and move it back. Nope, that's you guys. Uh, let's try and move me. There we go. Ha ha. Okay. Well, I think that is pretty much everything I wanted to take a look at. I don't see any new questions, uh, except we were talking about the race change thing. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it a wrap here. And um, I hope you really enjoyed um, the tour. That was really cool to get to ride around the neighborhoods. And if I come up with something that I've forgotten that I want to go back and check on, I might do another stream on that in a little bit, or if people um, end up with a pile of questions, I might do another stream to just kind of uh, tidy up some questions there. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope you have a great time. All right. Bye.